Lord Smith of Kelvin. Uh, that's my fancy title. In fact, I was brought into this world as Robert Smith, uh, and I'm the patron of the Beard of Butte Society. I think Chris Markwell's done a wonderful job of just seizing on this, the humble blacksmith in Butte, and saying he achieved his dream, and the message really for the Beard of Butte Society is, apart from celebrating his life, is to say to young people in Scotland, live the dream. Do you just have a bit of inspiration, work hard, and it's astonishing what you can achieve in life. And through scholarships and programs around schools, that encourages people to, to go out and really try their very best. The Bird of Butte Society has begun the rolling out of its programs a few years ago. And the first of these is a very exciting one. It's the Bear of Butte Society Canadian Science Scholarship. And it's offered annually to selected students who've finished sixth form and have been accepted by a Scottish university to take chemistry, biology, life sciences, or the like. Hi, I'm Joshua McFadden, and I'm studying biomedical science at Glasgow Caledonian University. The Canadian scholarship took the form of from bench to bedside. Those three weeks were just probably the most amazing, hardest work I've ever done in my life. Like, we delved deep into science, like this is the nitty gritty of the science. We went to um, Dr Gunning's lab. Um, my name's Patrick Gunning, I'm an associate professor at the University of Toronto Department of Chemistry and I'm a Canada Research Chair in Medicinal Chemistry and we're developing new drugs uh, to target uh, various human cancers that currently have uh, a poor prognosis. We started in pure chemistry, just um, showing us like how they start um, change side chains of molecules and different techniques that they use. We got to see cancer cells and they were um, given fluorescence, like that was inserted to, into them genetically. And if the drug that they're um, creating is working, then they'll show up. The more of that, the better. <laughs> and it's targeting a specific molecule, the STAT3 molecule. And that's found in 70% of all cancers. So if they can target this molecule, then that could basically eradicate 70% of cancers. But the final part is that they are in Toronto at a number of institutions. In, in those environments, they move from what was theoretical and what was being scientifically developed into the actual delivery of that science to the patient at the bedside. We spent time moving around the different hospitals in the Toronto area, seeing how these um, drugs that have been created are actually used. Bear de Butte Society Canadian Science Scholarship recipients travel to Canada where they're hosted by the Centre for Clinical Ethics and its relationships with Providence Healthcare St. Joseph's Health Centre, St. Michael's Hospital, Lee Cashin Knowledge Institute and so on, which allows them to access some of the, the brightest people in healthcare, science, biology, chemistry that are available in the world. And in so doing, not only have knowledge passed to them, but build relationships that will stand for them for the rest of their lives. The programme, understandably, is called From Bench to Bedside. I think the, the society's work is really important because I think it's really important to emphasise to, to young people um, the value of education and where that can take you. Um, and I think it opens up a lot of opportunities and doors. If I was told um, 15 years ago that I'd be in Toronto um, as a chemistry professor, I would have laughed. Um, and I think uh, my education uh, my ability to get an education uh, really helped my career a lot. You can't do anything without taking a risk. Like, really, you've got to strive for anything you want to do. If you, if you put one foot in, you're never going to get anything back. You've got to jump, like, just jump and see what happens. Like, you will never know if you don't take the risk. So maybe doing, like, applying for the scholarship's not a risk, but it's something like, what if you don't get it? but I didn't care if I didn't get it. I just wanted to try. And trying is the most important thing in anything you do. Everything you've got, you do has to be with your whole heart. And this is something that I saw in a lot of people in that, with that scholarship. Every person I met was wholeheartedly involved in everything that they do. The deal that the Bear Butte Society proposes to the youth of Scotland is, if you'll work hard, 
we'll do all we can to assist you to realize your dream.